or yeah, just Final Destination is the starting stage. Which Zerg, man is gonna get gas money for the month? The surge is technically <laughs> Tulsa, yes. Broken Arrow, greater greater area, more or less. Anyway, so we're into this set. Starting out, Final Destination. All right, so actually, I don't think these guys have played against each other this day. I don't think so. I would be nice if I looked at the bracket beforehand, but I either way. I don't remember, but it's definitely going to be a spacing game, projectile game. And Robin probably having the better projectiles to Tomb Link, although not as tricky. Uh, they have a lot more range, so Mega Man's not going to be able to one-up the projectiles as much. I mean, that's really just... <laughs> Excuse me, Thunder and uh, Thoron are the only two that really make the greater, greater impact, but nearly got the two-frame down spike. Can he shoot the fire in the middle? Was this Winter's one? I thought that was Shell Chaska. Huh? Yeah, this was Winter's Finals. Yeah, they did play each other. Okay. That's the only way we could be in Grand Finals if they played each other already. That's right. Sure. It's been a long, long day for me. So, my apologies. It's not the only way they could be in the Grand Finals together. It's true. But Nearly. I agree that I think that this match did happen before. However, right now, we got a 9 to 6. Oh, oh check and mate. <laughs> Such a strong confirm. Indeed. Sakurai does need uh, a little bit of aid here for us. So, That's a problem. Ooh. Ru Rush taking all of the hits from the, uh, the rabbit jab. <laughs> Rush is the real trooper here, guys. Back air is going to... That was actually a great smash DI out of the uh, arc fire into a back air. So, oh, I don't know that all of Mega Man's right. kill options. It seems like they're a little less safe against the Robin than they were against the Toon Link as well. Right, he has to get in close to land an up tilt. Um, he also needs to add up a lot more percent and uh, position him correctly for a back throw on stage, similar to Ness. Oh, oh. wow. The forward air is still not taking it though. That was fantastic DI There's from Johan. Ultimately, didn't make a difference because he's didn't get any extra percent off of that fantastic DI earlier. Just keeping him alive. Oh! Robin that up. last hit. Oh, no tech. We don't tech those. Robin's kill percent coming up here pretty soon. 96% up air. Uh, killed him last time. Yeah. Oh, oh failed recovery. Wow. Well, we'll. we'll so he was just, he just dro dropped to the ground. He said, nah. Okay, Zerg looking like a man. Completely drained from his last set. <laughs> yeah. Resilience. But he can persevere here. Uh, pay. I'll just put that here. And looks like we're considering the switch to Dreamland here. All right, so Dreamland is the stage. The score has been updated. Zerge does have like another long set ahead of him if he uh, managed to take this W. Um, yeah, indeed. resilience <clears throat> is definitely something you need if you're going to be sitting in the winner's side of these events. Could just be a uh, adaptation thing too. It took him two games to adapt to uh, Muse, both sets that he played against Muse, and perhaps he will just need a couple games to adjust to Johan here. Although you gotta wonder if the natural uh, abilities of Robin's character is not giving Johan more of an edge than Mew's ever had over Mega Man. Yeah, that's true. But also, like, fundamentally, uh, Johan is a completely different player than uh, Mew's as well. Um, completely different styles. Um, Mew's does a, uh, applies a lot of pressure from range, but it doesn't go in per se. Um, whereas Johan, on the other hand, uh, definitely goes in and gets really good reads on your shield pressure. Um, 
so it's like a much more aggressive zoning oh, game, but... That up tilt. Up tilt will connect. Man, that kills so. way early. Yes, it sure does. <laughs> That's insane. Sure, you can get the first stock. He doesn't even have to do an input like uh, you do with Ryu. Yeah. Someone tell us. <laughs> it's actually really cool to see that Zerge has like, not picked up any other character. He's stuck with Mega Man the whole time through. Indeed. He's, he's had other characters that he plays, you know, random Bayonetta and like uh, Captain Falcon and things like that, but he's really been sticking to his guns with this Mega Man, and I think that is definitely something that he uh, he's proven that can be done to win tournaments with. So Indeed. There's uh, always a possibility in Smash. You can win with anybody. If you're good enough. Indeed. And Zerd showing us, and Johan showing us, both these lower tier characters have a lot of potential. Oh no. But Zerge is dropping it a little too low. Oh, win. Takes him down. Alright, so 62% extra credit. Let's just see if Zerge can not be like Shiny. Seems like a bro <laughs> seems like a broken arrow thing, just like SD. Glad we're not in Tulsa. Or they're not from not, not from Tulsa. Hey. Now we're gonna have trash with the three or four broken arrow people. Right? <laughs> Hey, technically I'm broken arrow. Nah, we're, nah, nah, we're not. Rip. Rip. Not you. No. <laughs> oh my oh. god! What? 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 Sure, here you come. So do you get? <laughs> okay. Okay, so, Zerge. One, one. Two, two Shoryukens, two oh. uppercuts to the jaw, saying, "Yeah, All those eat my buster." Five more wins. <laughs> That's a good start for the set. Yeah, that's how you uh, how you clock in and you do work. Uh, looks like Starterville is going to be the stage for game three. No longer Starterville. It is called Smashville. Indeed, we are smashing here for sure. <clears throat> Alright, so good patience from Zerge. Immediately getting his man off stage, stacking up that percent. You gonna see any dirty Shoryukens here early on? Maybe not early, but we'll see kills coming from Shoryukens. Let's see if Zerge can adjust and not uh, commit suicide or Sepoku. <laughs> Big question. <laughs> Is that gonna lead to some Shoryuken fishing? <laughs> <laughs> It possibly. I mean, it was a big win. It's yeah. It's very rare that you'll see uh, Zerge. Oh, oh! oh! Just no. missed okay. the tag. Okay, taking him down. It's a two hitter. Oh, oh, nearly had it. Doesn't get it. Oh, he's just waiting. He's just waiting for Johan to drop his shield. What? What was that? No. Oh my yes. God. What just happened? So many things that are wrong. Oh my god, sure, this, the sour it. spot. Drops that razor oh my on god. Alright, so it looks like both players now oh, have completely smashed. adapted to one another. Okay. This is top level smash at its best. Well, here's the thing you have a ton of micro spacing, and the melons are just causing so much disruption for the interaction of uh, Johan's uh, ranged moves, like with the L Thunder, Arc Thunder. Uh, and Thoron. You saw it, like the melon hit. Oh, there it is. The this melon is blasphemy in the greater uh, Smash community. But after the last two weeks, I'm starting to enjoy the uh, metagame of Smash 4 so much more than the other games in the series. Yeah. Because <laughs> you get all sorts of ridiculous interactions that shouldn't happen. There's this crazy spacing that takes place at this level of gameplay that you just don't see. In the other game. We're talking about like. Oh, yet it. Oh, man. I hope Zerge likes to taste a pineapple. Yeah, that that's a thing. For sure. Oh, madness is in on stream. Let's go, dude. So, yeah, shout out to you guys who are watching. Y'all rock. Share it with your grandpa, the grandmother, grandparents. Uh, your granddaughter, because you're old. Um, Tell them Smash is the way of the future. The way of the future. Share it with your dog. And yes, this is Grants. Tournament game. 
a game for me. I'm up to two Right. Yeah, if you win. Zerge also on his tournaments. Kind of. Johan, if, if he loses, he's out. Yeah, yeah, you can interpret it in many ways. Johan counting his money. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> you see this guy smirking, throwing some thumbs, thumbs up. He's like, yes, one more win, and I get some more money for this weekend. He's like, I'm going to get some drinks after this. Somebody else is driving, right? <laughs> uh, <laughs> kill Kenny's. <laughs> kill Kenny's. <laughs> Doing burger night. It is Wednesday night. Yeah. There you go. That, but they're going to be closed night? by the time. Yeah. My kill Kenny. It's a bar. I thought that was the uh, Irish place. Yeah. It's that a they bar, do five. So they're up in the two. Oh, well, yeah, 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 yeah. But they have, like, the $5 burger night or whatever. Do they? Also, on Wednesdays. I don't know, maybe. Maybe this should be a thing. Maybe you should have mentioned this before. <laughs> well, you know what? I'm sorry. Jeez. Speaking of which, FD, Zerge Johan. Johan's uh, tournament game. If he, he wins it, he goes home. If he loses, he has the potential for, uh, or goes into game five, giving uh, Zerge another chance at this W. Throwing out the jab combos. I got a little bit of buffering, so I apologize for that. And much leaf shield was had that there. Alright, so Zerge taking a little bit of a percentage lead right now. Ooh, jumping in with the, uh, the A buttons. Indeed. Such a strong button. <laughs> let's speak of our appreciation of the A button, of which Mega Man is the color of. Oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> color coordination. I do like how Zerge rotates through the uh, colors depending on where he's sitting at in the match, but every one of those leaf blades actually connected. Zerge showing us how Mega Man is to be played. Yes, crazy Mega Man tag coming from Zerge. Any potential Mega Man players out there need to watch this man. Him and Scat and Styles. Only a 15% uh, difference between players right now. 19%. And 1%. it is one. <laughs> we are down one. to that 1%. 13. We're going to count. <laughs> <laughs> Can you math? Oh, uh, trying for the. Oh, wow. Please, please present Smash 4. That was um, actually. An, I don't know if you noticed that. That was an inter interesting interaction. Because Zerge had put the crash bomb on Johan, and he didn't up smash, and pretty much put him into a frame trap where he had to stay in shield. Indeed. Because if he dropped out. He, oh, uh, he said read more, but he picks it up and says, no, you picks read. Man's books back to the library for him. <laughs> Check it out. Oh, there's the, uh, <laughs> there's the down, down throw. throw up smash. <clears throat> okay. The check to yeah, the mate. Yeah, yeah. Alright, let's see what Zerge can do. He needs to jump in there and uh, deal some damage. Trying with that metal blade, but not quite going to be the option. Oh, no oh, regret so punish. Down smash to cover that, edge, but... that is one of the worst smash attacks in Mega Man's arsenals. Crazy, yeah. Crazy to see it thrown out twice. It comes out like thir frame 36, I do believe. Wow. It's very poor. Oh, things. trying to style. Zerge. It's caught in that fire. People are saying goodbye to our finalists. <laughs> Alright, so Zerge needs to be extremely careful here. Falls into the rapid jab. That was actually a very good pivot grab. Or pivot jab coming from Johan. Oh! oh! Scoop him up! Razor to shake him. Zerge, let's see a game five, brother. Yes. We want this. Let's see game five, then six, then seven, then eight, then nine, then ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I don't think we're going to have quite that many games, but Zerge is doing an insane amount of damage um, with these up airs. 63 46%. Man, it's even back up. <clears throat> yeah. All right, so actually Zerge is dang near lethal. Ugh. Checkmate will definitely close that out if uh, he falls victim to it. Oh, but Crash Bomb... Saving him from that pressure. Uh, oh, not quite. Still there. Not quite. Maybe if he jab. One more time. time. Oh and no! Oh, no, it dropped it. And, and <clears throat> Johan, taking. Going home. <laughs> Two weeks in a row. Two weeks in a row. Looks like uh, we'll still have uh, a lot of work to, uh, to catch up.